when Wayne had a, a challenge or, or he was playing against somebody that um, he admired, like it was, you know, Gila Fleur in the day or the rivalry with Trotchy and Bossy and stuff, you could always count on Wayne stepping up his game a little bit. He was always at a high level, but he was maybe a little higher. Um, he was emotionally invested in those games a little bit more than uh, other games, and that's what he said about Connor McDavid, too. He says that you're emotionally you get you're a little more invested in when you're playing against somebody that people are talking about is you know a rival or, or your equal or whatever like that and you know you get really really into the game and and while you know it may not have looked like McDavid was excited to be playing Jack Eichel it was pretty evident when his first goal was scored in the pile the glass I mean, first goal, 22 seconds into the game, and then when he scored his last goal, going end to end, you know, he scored, and then he just kind of, you know, skated along the boards with his arms wide open, wide open. you know, not one of those look at me things, but uh, can you believe what just happened, Lux, you know, <laughs> and, and that was the kind of Wayne too, so, um, God knows there was many, or many a game where Wayne had the flair for the dramatic. I remember being in Buffalo in the early 80s when he broke Phil Esposito's record for a single season goal, 76, and it so happened that Goldie Hawn and Burt Reynolds were making a movie about two blocks over, and Gretzky was, you know, like both of them, and he turned up at the game later, and uh, that's when he broke the record. So, And then, you know, the time in Chicago when he kept his 51 games, points to keep alive, too, scoring with two seconds left. There was a, something to be done uh, in terms of a challenge. Wayne stepped up, and McDavid, you know, while he's only played 28 games, the game against the Maple Leafs, uh, his boy had a team, you know, in and every goal. The others won 5 2. So. And then uh, in Calgary, the first time they're in there, you know, we got two goals and an assist against the longtime rival. So we'll see how he is against the Philadelphia Flyers tomorrow night. That's the team, of course, he played and heard his. Collarbone uh, on November 3rd. Yeah. And it would not surprise me one bit if Connor takes this game uh, against the Flyers maybe to another level, too. I guess uh, he hasn't seen them since he got hurt. And maybe he's thinking to himself, the Flyers didn't see the real me that night, but they'll see the real me uh, the second time around. So, should be interesting.